Isn't God good tonight? Yes, he is. Yes. Let's go uh, to the book of John, if you can. Chapter 14 of John. Verse 16, John chapter 14. When you get there, amen. That being a new testament, amen. But the word says this it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort, that he may abide with you forever. Watch this in verse 17. Very good scripture here. Even the Spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you, and you shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world see me no more. But you shall see me because I live, and you shall live also. At the day you shall know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. He that... He, and he that hath commanded commandments has kept them. He is that loved me. And he that loved me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him. And I will manifest myself to him. Lord Jesus, as we come before you tonight, Lord God, they has done like you, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, Lord God, for the blood. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for your spirit tonight, Lord, that you've seen fit. Lord, Lord God, not only to dwell in a body, Lord Jesus, but God, but to share the will, Lord. To share that experience, Lord God, in you. And I thank you so much tonight for Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for all that you've done, Lord God, every time you've ever spoke to me, Lord. Lord God, every time you've revealed yourselves, Lord, every time that i pray, Lord, and you've come on the scene, Lord, every time i pray and you've answered. Lord Jesus, I just thank you, Lord God, that the times I've been in church and seen you move in a mighty way, Lord, I thank you tonight, Lord. And again, Lord, I would ask tonight, God, that you would move on this word, Lord, that you would move on it and breathe on it, Lord God, I'm just a man, I'm just flesh. Lord God, if you'll, but if you'll bring your anointing down, Lord Jesus. Lord, you said I could have it if I ask it in your name, Jesus, that it would come down. Lord God, and manifest itself in this place, Lord. I thank you so much, Jesus. Lord, I thank you so much. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight, just a few minutes, about this word, about the manifestation of the Lord, amen, and what it means. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God. He's so good to us. There's a couple of gold nuggets here that I, I, I want to give you. Uh, just going to lay a quick foundation. Amen. I don't plan to hold you long unless the Lord wants us to stay long. But I, I want to read just a little bit further. And it says, Judas said unto him, Not a scary, but Lord, how is it that thou will manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? I want y'all to look at that question tonight. And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me and will keep my words, and my Father will love him and will come unto him and make our abode with him. I, I want to give you the definition of manifest tonight. I think it's very important that we understand a lot of definitions in the Bible and, 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 and get the word and get its true meaning. Amen. Because when the Lord was beginning to talk about manifestation of himself and manifest of, of, of his spirit, of the flesh, of God, who he was, I know that the apostles or the disciples at the time, I'd have to believe if I was in their shoes, Brother Bo, that I would scratch my head also trying to figure this out. All, if you ever, all you knew was old law, if that's all you ever knew. But let me give you the, the definition of this. The definition that I that I that I found means this is the clear or obvious to the eye or mind. To display or show. Be evidence of proof 
And actually, the Greek word to this word means plainly recognize. It's actually because we're in Greek texts. I mean, uh, history tells us that the New Testament was wrote in Greek. So really when you're looking at the word manifestation, that the Lord was not going to leave them until they plainly recognized who he was and what he was. He was going to give them something, Sister Crystal, that was going to open them up that they could see what no, what the world couldn't see. I, I want y'all to grab a hold of that and hold on to it because where we're going tonight, it's, it'll be good in a few minutes. But let's go a little bit further and lay this foundation. It says, He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which he hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things I have spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the comfort of which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father was sent in my name. Y'all notice that. He shall teach you all things, not some things, not partly things, church, but all things. And bring all things to remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Look at 27 with me. It says, Peace. I leave with you my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Yet I've heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said I go to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass that when it come to pass, you might believe. Now I want you to look at verse 30. We're going to go back up to 27 in just a minute. But look at verse 30. It says, Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. I want to hold right there for just a moment that you would get a hold of this. If you go back and look in the word, you will find out that Jesus plainly said in many places, if you go and match up the four Gospels, that, that he said that you, I will only be here a short time, uh, you will only have me for a short time, and I'll go away. He said, as long as I was in the world, the light would be here, amen, but I, I go. And, and they would ask, even John's disciples said, why do we have to fast, and, and your disciples that's following you don't have to fast. And he said, as long as the bridegroom is here, Amen, that there would be no need to fast. Uh, amen. So I, I want y'all to notice uh, that Jesus plainly said uh, and warned his disciples, Sister Karen, as he walked and talked, uh, though he healed, though he preached. Uh, and I, I don't know, um, even with my guys, some of them boys has got hot heads as hard as rocks. Uh, I keep warning them, first of the year, things are going to be changed. First of the year, you better get a hold of this. And the whole time... Uh, I, I, I watch them and some of them's catching on to it, Sister Crystal, and some of them ain't catching on to it. And I just had to look at some the other day and I said, some of you just not going to be here. Some of you ain't going to be here with us because you ain't, you ain't grasping this. And that's the same way Jesus was when he was preaching. That's the same way Jesus was when he taught, when he walked with his disciples and they would ask questions and he would bring it in a parable and he would bring them the true meaning of it. He would give them revelation because he was setting them up because he had not intentions, church, to stay here always. Amen. And that's the thing that uh, we find in this Holy Ghost tonight. Uh, amen. And, and, and you'll get Sister Crystal to begin to explain this uh, to some of your colleagues that you work with uh, about this spirit. Amen. Uh, just like the young lady wanting to know the difference uh, of worship. Why are we fanatics? Uh, why do we desire to lift hands and feel the spirit of the Holy Ghost? Uh, amen. I, I want y'all to really grab this tonight because it says... Uh, in 27, that peace, amen, that's something, amen, that I explained to my insurance guy today, but what it quote is in Matthew 24, that perilous times have come, but be ye not troubled, for these things must come to pass, amen, and I can't help of the chaos, I can't help of the shooting, Sister Karen, I can't help, uh, I can't help earthquakes, 
I can't help what they do in the White House. Right. But what I can help is get my soul, amen, ready. I amen. can make this temple, amen, this vessel, yes. amen, a place where my Lord and my God can work. That I can control, church. Yes. And that tonight gives me peace, amen, in Him. But I want y'all to notice, uh, and when I begin to look at the verses, and I know many times you may have read verse 30, and you may have already got revelation of verse 30. But it began to puzzle me when he said, I will not talk much with you because he's preparing him on the hereafter, amen. And that's something that I, I, I want y'all to grasp tonight because he said, for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. Amen, that's something that tonight, amen, because of... Um, of, uh, of what y'all testified tonight uh, and even I testified about our light shining uh, amen and other people seeing that there's a difference uh, amen he was with them he talked to them sister Karen he was giving them a spirit uh, so when he left uh, amen that I, I want y'all to grasp this tonight uh, so when he left amen he knew that he was going to be crucified uh, amen and I'm almost getting ahead of myself but I I need y'all to see this gold nugget with me tonight. Sometimes we uh, we get a little cranky, amen. We get in church. Uh, church is blowing up. We feeling the Holy Ghost, uh, amen. We feeling cart. We doing cartwheels. People falling out in the spirit. It seems like everything we touch, uh, they begin to speak in an unknown tongue. People's getting healed, and all of a sudden it kind of dries up, amen. And we don't understand that. Amen. But I'm here to tell you tonight on uh, this revelation of this scripture of what I gathered when he said that I was not going to talk much. Amen. They had something, Sister Karen, amen, that they never had before. Amen. So when the Lord left and Satan come on the scene, they knew the church that there was a difference. I want y'all to grab that tonight. Something that really bothers me, there is some denominations, they have a communion every Sunday. Amen. And what they do is their own business. But I'm going to tell you right now, after a while, amen, you know, you can get blinders on. After a while, you can get accustomed to things. Amen. Just like it talked about in the Old Testament, they kept coming in filthy into the tabernacle. And after a while, the Lord left uh, and left them with the church uh, because of the filth and the things that were going on. Amen. And that's what uh, I like about the Lord so much. Uh, yes, that we're supposed to be doing. Uh, we should be tearing on. Amen. We should be doing the Lord's work. Uh, we need to pray. We need to do some fasting. We need to do some reading. Amen. But I'm going to tell you this. Uh, you can read this word all you want to. Amen. And you can get on your knees and begin to repent all you want to. Amen. You can shed crocodile tears. You can pray for this nation. You can pray for the cripple. You can pray for the blind. You can pray for the boy, uh, the poor. Amen. But when the Lord begins to speak to you, amen, there ain't nothing like it, church. Right. Read all you want to. Pray all you want to. Fast all you want to. But when the Lord begins to deal with you, amen, when the Lord begins to speak to your spirit, church, there is something about that that's above all things. I'm not telling you not to pray. I'm not telling you not to read the word, but I'm telling you when he shows up and begins to speak. I'm telling you when he shows up and begins to give you the discernment of the spirit of the revelation of the word. It's what I'm talking about. Because he says right here, I will not talk much with you, amen. Because the prince of this earth was going to show up of this world was coming and I have it. It has nothing in me, amen. That you're going to know the difference, amen. And I don't know how y'all feel about it, amen, but I can get on my back porch and it may be me and, and the, what my relationship with the Lord, amen, but I know when that spirit begins to come, I got a feeling, brother, but when I begin to make coffee, amen, that the Lord's going to show up. I just got a feeling, amen, he's fixing to give me something, amen, and I can't get out there quick enough, amen. Sometimes I wake Jennifer up because that crazy nut dog gets in my way because I know I've got to earn in my spirit that the Lord is wanting to talk, amen. And I'm telling you right now, that's an urgency. I can pray. I can come in here Tuesday night. We can take up prayer requests, Amen. And I can get over there and I can pray. 
Amen. And I can clear my conscience that I have prayed for the poor. I prayed for the needy. I prayed for whatever needs to be prayed for. But I ain't nothing like it, church, when he shows up and begins to show you things. But I, I, I want you to see this. The, the, Jesus, it was important that he give you the comforter. It's important, church, that he wanted you to really recognize the manifestation of him. And I don't know about you, when he shows up, I can plainly recognize it. They ain't nothing, they ain't nothing charismatic about it. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. I can plainly recognize the Holy Ghost. Amen. I can plainly recognize the peaceful spirit I have when he begins <laughs> to come in that screen in porch and wants to deal with me. Amen. I can plainly recognize it. Amen. I can rec plainly recognize it when his anointing begins to drop on me and these words begin to lift off the page and it's like his big finger begins to point out things and things that he wants me to know. Amen. And that's what I said a couple of Sundays ago. Amen. When I preached to you about the kingdom is at hand. Amen. When you wake up with that on you, amen. You can't wait to get out. Amen. It ain't ever said, it ain't every morning that I wake up with us saith the Lord in my heart. In my mind, that ain't what normally wakes me up. It's normally an alarm waking me up, church. But I'm going to tell you, when the Lord is nudging, get up. I want to share something with you. Amen. I want to give you some revelation of something. Amen. You know that it, when it's the difference. And that's what I was trying to explain about my friend why I'm troubled. Amen. When I begin to quote scriptures, when I look at them and they trying to hold on, amen, to a TV evangelist, amen. I believe we're supposed to expound the word, but I know the word has got to be expounded correctly, church. Amen. It's got to be anointed, amen. I know that it's better than being in a bar room, but let me tell you this. Jesus said, if the blind lead the blind, Amen. Let them both fall in the ditch. What does that mean? It means the drunkard's going to hell. It don't mean the one that's led astray goes to hell. He said they both were going to the same place, church. Amen. And we got to have some compassion. We got to have some get up. We got to send out a warning. Hey, this ain't right. Your spirit ought to be pricked as comforter. Amen. You may have peace that you got salvation, but your spirit ought to be troubled. Amen. Because they don't have it, church. They never heard the voice. Yes. They never had a sit down conversation with Jesus. Listen to me. It's important that you see this. This is why the Lord would not deal with them day and day and day after he left. That they would take a distinctive decision, uh, 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 would no distinctive decision between the world and his voice. Right. Think about what I'm telling you tonight because of I want to go to 31 because it's very important that you get 31 and get revelation, amen, of 31. I know sometimes we think, Lord, why would you leave me? But that's what Jesus said. As long as I'm here, they never going to desire me. All they going to want is want me for what I can do. Yes. But I got to leave that you would desire me. And if everybody in this place right here, I know that y'all all in this place tonight has had a visitation from the Holy Ghost. And you can't tell me if it was not genuine and you ain't had one in a month or two that you not desiring to feel that again. Amen. Come on. Amen. If it ain't, you need to get a hold of the Lord. Amen. There's something wrong with your feelers. There's something wrong with your spirit, amen, if you don't desire, amen, to feel that again. To be in his presence again. Something ain't right. And that's what Jesus said. I must go away that they will desire me. Yes. Desire to know knowledge. Desire to know truth. To know the desire to know who I am. You think about that tonight. What I'm saying to you. That's the reason he said I ain't going to talk much. But now look at verse 31 with me. I ain't going to hold you long. Jesus was trying in verse 30 on up, was trying his best, Brother Bo, to, to manifest, to show, give evidence, to prove who he was. That they would plainly recognize. And if you remember what he said in 26, after you received this, 
Everything that I told you will be real. But look at verse 31. We got Sister Christmas' favorite word here, but because we're changing direction. Amen. I won't ever forget. I learned something that Sunday. Because when I see that, I know we're changing directions. It says this, Sister Karen, that the world may know that I love the Father. And as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Now watch the last part of this verse. It says, Arise, let us go hence. So I had to look up the word hence. And let me give you that because it may not be what you think it is. Hence means this. As a consequence, for this reason, it also means from here and in the future. Think about what I just said. Jesus said, I got a commandment here I got to do. And his purpose was to get to Calvary. <coughs> he said, rise and let us go hence. Mm -hmm. For this reason. The only reason, how only way you're going to get verse 26 is if I go to the cross. I've got to pay this price. The only way if we don't go further, church, he said, arise and let us go hence. If he didn't go no further, they would have never felt the comforter. Sister Karen, if he never went to the cross, you would have never spoke in tongues. You would have never seen a set of wet. The Lord would have never dropped things in your spirit. You think about what I'm telling you, church. Your desire, Brother Bo, amen, to draw closer to him. If he would begin to backpedal and say, I don't know. I'm going to stall out here, amen. How many times we've seen that? People that procrastinate. They drag their feet. Jesus, amen, wasn't dragging his feet. If you remember real closely, when you read that word, amen, you know, they the disciples would caution and you, you know, it's you can't go up there, amen, to Jerusalem because of Amen, it's the day of atonement. It's the day of feasts. Uh, amen, and they're expecting you to show up. Uh, and they all hold in stone. Surely, Master, if you go, they'll kill you. Amen. Do y'all remember that? Amen. They, they cautioned him to stay out of Jerusalem. But his perfect plan was, amen, to go to Jerusalem and be crucified. Amen. His perfect plan was this church, amen, that the, you would be plainly, amen, recognize who he was. Amen. When we lift our hands and begin to worship. Amen. He wanted to make sure that this manifestation would come through. That the evidence of what we say of speaking in tongues. Amen. That we know that that spirit is come inside of us. Amen. And we're different from that point on. I'm not telling you that you can't lose it. I can't tell you that some don't look sad at it. Amen. And you've done it this before and you've got ill about this. You've worked all year. Amen. And your and your uh, children to give you a want list at Christmas. Amen. And you do everything to please them with a want list. Amen. And then on Christmas Day, as they begin to bust them open, they begin to wrinkle their lips a little bit. Amen. And it makes you want to punch them in the head because you worked and you worried. Amen to make sure things is right. Amen. Am I right or wrong? Amen. They've done it before mine's done it. Amen. Is that all? Amen. And I'm telling you right now, some people has gotten the Holy Ghost and they've looked at it. Amen. And wrinkled their lip and saying, is this all? No, it's just the beginning. What you going to do with it? Amen. I'm, yeah, I'm just being honest with you. I don't care what kind of souped up bike you buy your children, amen. You can buy a $49 one or you can buy a $349 one. Amen. Each one of them will take you somewhere. But the thing that they got, them youngins has got to do, they got to get on it. And they got to pedal the church to get somewhere. And this Holy Ghost is the same way. Church, we got to take it, amen, and get a hold of it and begin to pedal, amen. And it'll take us somewhere. Amen. We got to begin to pray. We got to begin to throw a little wood on the fire. We got to begin to ask the Lord, where are you at? Begin to reveal yourself to me. Let me have some of what Peter had. Let me have some of what Paul had. And even in the church today, amen, we ought to see people, amen. I, I love Sister Phillips and, and Brother Singleton, amen. Hallelujah, and I pick on them all the time. Amen, I tell them I want twice what 
what you got. Amen. Because I desire, because I know when I get around them, I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. I love their preaching because I know they not just got the gift, but they're baptized in it and it makes a difference when they bring the word across church. Amen. That means I want to pedal my bike a little more. I want to get a little bit closer to the Lord, church. Is it true you can get the Holy Ghost out in the woods? Sure it is. Amen. I've heard people praying on a pine stump and getting it. Amen. You ain't got to be in a million dollar building to get a hold of it. Amen. But my problem is what are you going to do with it when you get it, church? Jesus said this, arise, let us go hence. Amen. I, I, I'm, I'm in reason here. Amen. I got purpose in this. I'm doing this for your future, amen, that we've got to move on toward Jerusalem, church. I've got to leave this place, amen, that my DNA will come back to you. The manifestation of Jesus Christ and who he is tonight. I, I, you so, Brother Kenny, I already knew this. <coughs> well, the Bible says sometimes it needs to be rehearsed back to you. Need to shake you up a little bit. Right. You need to tell them, Amen. I'm just telling you the spirit, Amen. I watched this this fella, Amen, begin, and even I talked to him yesterday on the phone, and I thought that conversation was over with up there in the cul-de-sac. But he get began to start again on me yesterday when I talked to him because I had to meet the fella again today up there, and he won't apologize again, Amen. He wanted me to know that he did believe. But I'm, I'm glad that you believe. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad in that. But you got to put some input in it. Come on. The Bible says that Satan himself believes. Come on. And trembles. Come on. We got to get above Satan. Come on. In this thing, we got to get. On. Let this be inside of us. Right. Amen. We got to have this manifestation. Amen. Of it. We got to let. We got to be born again, Sister Karen. Amen. I was just thinking this morning. Amen. How to approach my friend Floyd about John 3 and 5. Amen. Because it says, except. Amen. Except. There ain't going to be any other condition, but it's. You've got to be born again of the water, amen, and of the spirit, amen. Jesus would have never died on the cross, amen, if we was going to negotiate that. I don't know about you, amen. And let's be honest, amen. We can talk world for just a moment if you want to, amen. I know, Sister Crystal, you looked at a lot of people's business, amen. And even in my business in the last few years, because I've got disheartened, Amen. And I've uh, been waiting on the Lord actually to take it from me to where I could do this full time. Amen. And I would begin to negotiate with my employees saying, if you want to. And when you begin to negotiate, the work performance begins to decrease because the standard of quality falls. I'm being honest. You can see if you put it on the graph then you'll see it begin to deteriorate. But this year we have put back a quality, amen, and we have holding people accountable and they don't like it, amen. Right. I brought people in that's going to gonna, gonna tighten the screws, amen. It, it's it's going to rule with a, with, a, with, a, with a, what do you call with a, with a sledgehammer with a rod iron. I don't know how to, <laughs> how to explain, amen. Not, not, not going to negotiate, amen, quality of work, not going to negotiate, amen, our, 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 our laws and the way we're going to do things. I'm not getting the right word in my head, but y'all understand what I'm talking about tonight. Amen. The way we're going to do business, amen. And if you can't abide, I think about uh, uh, Sister Jennifer's, I, I, I kept uh, 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 that saying that Sister Jennifer's uh, a uh, new boss when he said this uh, if we can't work together we can't work together amen uh, that is just been put inside of me amen and that's the way we got to be amen in this uh, we got to work together amen and I just watched you read 
Amen. The Lord is going to separate, amen, the sheep from the goat. Amen. Because the sheep can't work with goats. Amen. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Them goats are going to have to convert, amen, to quality eating. Amen. Because the sheep won't eat cocoa burls. Sheep won't eat different kind of grass. They ain't the one thing that old sheep will begin to graze on. And that's the only thing that sheep will graze on. Amen. And I know I've shared this, but I'm going to jar your mind one more time. They say over there in them countries where they still have sheep. Amen. That that shepherd, amen, begins to sing to those sheep. Talks to those sheep while they graze. That's important, amen. Because them sheep, amen, will not jihaw, amen, to any other shepherd but that one shepherd's voice. That's why the Lord used that, amen, analysis for you and I tonight. Amen. amen. They ain't but one voice, church, to listen oh, to. Amen. amen. That's yes. why he said, I won't talk much to you. Because when I talk, you're going to know there's a difference oh. between my voice amen. and the world's voice. Amen. Amen. And you're going to desire to hear my voice. When I show up, I'm going to begin to dump out. I'm going to begin to dump out knowledge. I'm going to begin to dump out blessings. I'm going to begin to dump out the anointing. I'm going to begin to dump out power. I'm going to begin to dump out things to you. Amen. That you're not going to want to desire the world. And when I leave, amen, and when these things go away, you're going to begin to desire again because you're going to want to desire the bridegroom. And you're going to begin to pray more. And you're going to begin to fast more. And you're going to begin to search that word more. Amen. Because you're going to say, where is my true love? Where is the one that's flipped my heart? Amen. Inside out. Where is this one, amen, that brings the chill bumps like nobody can bring them? Hallelujah. It's the comforter. Think about what I'm telling you tonight. Arise and let us go hence. Come on, let's arise and get some of this. Yes. My God. Don't sit back. Get a hold of this. Tell <coughs> in. Amen. Your problem is he's never manifested himself to you. That's the difference. Sister Crystal, if there's anything I can say that separates me from a lot of people, a lot of ministers, a lot of denominations is this one thing. He manifested himself to me. Right. I've heard his voice. It has changed me. <clears throat> I only hear from one voice. Amen. I'm tickled that my friend has went to church a couple of times. But see, I heard a voice Yesterday afternoon, it wasn't right. the Holy Ghost pricking my spirit. Come on. You understand that the voice I heard wasn't a good voice. Mm -hmm. It's what my mother said, a defeat deceiving voice. That's right. My sheep <coughs> know my voice. Amen. My spirit should have been pretty good to hit it with his spirit yesterday. Right. If it had been right. right. It shouldn't have not sent a, a, a dagger through my heart. Right. Oh my God, we in trouble. Right. Yes. Think about what I'm telling you tonight. Yes. The Lord wanted to manifest himself. Right. I must go away. But you will desire me. <laughs> the things that I've said will come back to you. When you receive. Think about what I've said tonight, church. The Holy Ghost is real as I'm looking at every one of you tonight. And I know a lot of times we we quote scriptures. But then I'm going to quote this to you again. The word says in James, you have not. Because you ask not. You got to ask and you have to tell them. You're never going to know until you ask. Right. Lord, am I okay? Am I where I need to be? There's nothing wrong. I don't care how many years you've been doing this. Amen. I'd ask. Amen. Am I Amen. okay? <laughs> if you were to come back today, am I okay? If don't, if I'm not okay, you stay way, way away from me until I get it right. right. I don't know how you feel about that, but that's just the way I feel. 
I don't want to disappoint him. Amen. And I sure don't want to miss this out for him. Think about what I'm saying. He's real, church. He is real. But he comes to manifest. I can say this because it's my relationship with him. Sometimes I get on that back porch and I'll say, where are you at? Where are you at? I seen a little old girl today that was, I got lost in Fort Walton. I had to go down there and be at a job and, <clears throat> and kind of got lost. And I, and I went by that little old school of, of the handicap. I don't know what word to use. And I seen that mama putting that baby in that wheelchair. And I looked and I said, Lord, I'll never understand that. I'll never understand that. I said, I know Adam and Eve done wrong. That baby ain't done wrong. I'll never understand that. You know, sometimes you just get to talk to the Lord. And, you know, and your spirit gets stirred up. And sometimes... I need him to talk to me. And I say, where are you at? Where are you at? My God. My God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's just stand if you can. tonight, Lord. Show your compassion on these babies, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Let the world see. Let the world see tonight, Lord God, what it was. Lord God, when you was whipped and beat, Lord God, oh, you took those stripes, Lord Jesus. Them babies don't know how to call on you, Lord Jesus. Almighty God, Lord, let the world see tonight the purpose and the, the reason behind the stripes, Lord Jesus. Let the world know this night, Lord God, I pray, Jesus. 
that I serve a sovereign God. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, mighty God. Lord, I know that there's evil, Lord God. I know the prince of this world, Lord God, is pounding the pavement at Jesus. Oh, Lord, but you've got an all-seeing eye. You know all things. Lord, I pray that you just move right now, Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Move, Lord. Lord, I just praise you, Jesus. I magnify you, Lord, tonight. Oh, God, I give you the glory. I give you the glory for all things, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, I praise you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name tonight. Show mercy. Show mercy, Lord. Let your grace be abound this night, Lord. Let your mercy, Lord, be abound this night. Let your compassion be abound this night. Let your love be abound this night. Let your power be abound this night. Your healing power, Lord. My God, my God. innocent blood, Lord. Innocent blood. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. I just praise you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God. Oh, God, have you wait tonight. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, I praise you. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. 
guide us, keep us, Lord. Jesus.